first thing when we take the uh, unit out of the box, you want to cut the band so the uh, the pipe will open up and okay. Well, first thing we want to determine where we want the skylight. So let's say we want it over in this area somewhere. We need to find where our rafters are going so we can fit the uh, skylight in between. We use a nice uh, simple stud finder. So we kind of determine this is uh, centered between the, uh, the rafters. So we're going to put our skylight over here. By sticking just a piece of wire or uh, just a wire coat hanger. Kind of move it around. We determine there's nothing in the, uh, in the way. What we're going to do now is we're going to drill a hole through the ceiling all the way through the roof. That way when we get up on the roof, we'll know exactly where the skyline needs to go. What I have here is uh, just a long drill bit. We've determined this is where, <coughs> where the skylight's going to go. There's nothing in the way, so we can drill straight through. Another way of doing this, if you don't have a long drill bit, you can put a hole, drill hole in the ceiling, go, go up in the attic, and drill a hole through the, uh, through the roof. We're gonna take our trim ring, we're gonna mark the ceiling, we're gonna cut the hole, attach the ring, up on the roof and drop the pipe in. Mark the inside, take our keyhole saw, and we're gonna cut right on the outside of the line. Now we're going to take the white gasket now and we're going to put it inside the trim ring. Same thing, peel back the uh, paper backing. So here's the rest of the, uh, the screws. Take out three of these and three of these speed nuts. The ring has six holes in it. Three larger ones and three smaller ones. The larger ones are recessed. They're countersunk. These are the holes that we're gonna put the screws through. We drill the, uh, we screw the screw through the drywall. We're gonna take this little speed knot, we're gonna lay it over the hole and drive this screw in. Be careful you don't over tighten it. I'm gonna put the other two screws in. All right, here's our flashing. Here's the hole that we drilled through the, uh, through the ceiling. What we're gonna do is gonna put the flashing over the hole, center it over the hole, okay? We wanna make sure that the other highest uh, part of the flashing is on the bottom. We're gonna take a marker and mark it inside of the flashing. We gotta take the flashing out and we gotta stick it under the uh, shingles. So we're gonna, we're gonna lift the shingles gently so we don't ruin them. Okay, then we're gonna try and stick the, uh, shing uh, the flashing under the shingles. Now we have to come around and we have to trim the shingles back about an inch, inch and a half back or so. What I have here is a hook knife, which is just great for cutting shingles. Set the flashing down, we want the highest point of, of the flashing to be on the bottom. Right now, we're just gonna dry fit the flashing, make sure it fits, uh, make sure it's not hitting any nails underneath. Okay, we're ready to set the flashing. Okay. Each skylight comes with a hardware kit, all the screws and silicone and gaskets necessary to do the install.
We got a screw pack. There's uh, six stainless steel number 10 screws in each screw pack. Up here, we're gonna drill through the, uh, through the shingles, through the flashing, into the decking. I'm gonna go back and we're gonna seal the, uh, the holes that we just drilled through the, uh, through the uh, shingles. And then we're gonna come around and we're gonna seal along the, uh, the top of the, uh, the flashing. Okay, next we take our gasket, peel back the uh, paper backing, and install the gasket inside of flashing about half half inch below uh, from the top. The uh, purpose of this gasket is to seal from any dust getting into the, uh, into the pipe. Now we're gonna put the, uh, the pipe together. First of all, we, have to, we have to peel the protective film on the side opposite to the uh, tape. Okay, we peel back the, uh, the backing uh, tape, bit paper, overlap the, uh, the pipe. There's a scribe line along the side where the tape is. Basically, we just line up the other edge with that line, stick it together, and then just run our fingers down the, uh, the tube. Then we take two of these self-tapping screws through. Then we take the aluminum tape and we run it over the seam. Again, we do the same thing to the other pipe. Okay, now we have to put the uh, two sticks of pipe together. We have to peel the uh, protective film back a little bit. Then we take this tube. Yeah, you can line the seams up, it's not critical. Then you take two of the self-tapping screws. And drive them in, drive them in to hold the pipe together. Then we take the aluminum tape again, and we'll put it around the seam. And there's your pipe. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna stick the pipe through the flashing and through the trim ring. I'm just gonna wiggle it a little bit and turn it, it should drop right in. When you, come, when you get down to the seam with it, uh, the with pipe uh, joined together, you got the, the screws and a tape. What you wanna do is just kinda wiggle it back and forth to work it through the uh, through the gasket on the flashing. Okay, now we got the pipe in. It's all the way down into the trim ring. It's a little bit too long. We have to trim that. So what we do is just mark it all the way around the top of the flashing. When you pull the pipe out, you ought to make sure that when you put it back in, it goes in the same way. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll make a mark on a pipe before I pull it out, and on a flashing. It's the regular apparel, tin snips. It cuts very easy. You just wanna be careful, because it's very sharp. Okay, now we're ready to put the pipe back in. Again, here's my reference mark. I wanna line it up with the one on, on the flashing. Okay, good to go. Okay. At this point, we're about uh, done on top. All we gotta do is take up the protective film and we're gonna put the dome on. And now we're gonna attach the dome to the flashing with these uh, four little stainless steel screws. Uh, one thing you wanna make sure, you never ever seal around the trim ring. And we're done at, on the roof. So you gotta go downstairs and finish up the trim ring down below. Okay.
Now we have to attach the pipe to the trim ring down below. Again, we're using the uh, two little self-tapping screws. Screw them through the pipe into the trim ring. One on each side. All right, and now we're gonna install our energy conservation kit, which consists of three discs, two smaller ones and one larger one. And then we attach them with these little white clips. Again, these clips have a double-sided tape on it. Peel back the backing and we install them just above the crimp. And we're gonna install four of those spaced out evenly around the, uh, the diameter of the pipe. install these discs. Now these discs, again, have a protective film on them on both sides also. We need to peel that off. Okay, the first disc is gonna sit on top of this clip that we just installed. Let's twist it a little bit, get it up there, and just drop it down and it'll just rest on top of that, the, on top of those clips. So again, this is the second of the smaller ones, and it's gonna rest on the second leg, on the bottom leg of these clips. We're just gonna twist a little bit, get it up there, on the two, and then the other two, you can just kinda push them in gently and they'll pop right in. Then we're gonna take the third disc, which is the, uh, the large one, peel the protective film, we're going to take our diffuser, we're going to lay this disc right on top of the diffuser, and then we're going to drop the diffuser into the trim ring. Now you have three little, three pins on the trim ring. Those three pins have to line up with the other, with the three smaller pins in the uh, ceiling ring. The ring has these little dimples where the pins are. All you have to do is line up that dimple with one of the screws gently, and then line up the other two and just press them in. It should snap right in. And we are done. There is no other light in that room right now.